Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Wakimbaloe. Well, only a few days ago, we were talking about how much power a state governor has. Well, here is a new one. Ekisi State Government has barred a former governor, Dr. Kade Fayemi, from politics for 10 years. In fact, from holding any public office uh, as that. A white paper by the Justice Silas Oyewale Ju Judicial Commission of Inquiry set up by Governor Ayodele Fauci to investigate alleged misappropriation of state finances from October 2010 to October 2014 also slammed the same verdict on the Commissioner for Finance during the same period, Mr. Dakpo Kolawale. The white paper indicted the duo for allegedly presiding over a regime where companies got money for projects not done or completed. Questionable contradictions recorded on purchases and supplies with scams and perpetrated in the name of renovation works. I have a I had it for a court which told him that uh, he should appear. But he didn't avail himself the opportunity to, to, you know, to defend or, you know, render counter opinions. So he is, uh, has been recommended to government by the uh, panel as a man unfit to hold public office. And government accepts that he, the recommendations of the uh, judicial commission that he should be barred from holding public office anywhere in Nigeria. For 10 years and whatever is there is a public document that will be made public there's nothing there's no there's no government uh, business that should be done behind closed doors so whichever way is going this document will still be in government in, go, in government's library for people to to they should be availed the opportunity of seeing what is there well then, let's get the reaction uh, on this quickly from uh, the media advisor to the former governor of Ekiti State, Dr. Kade Fayemi. Mr. Nika Oyebode joins us on the telephone from Abuja. Many thanks, Mr. Oyebode, for your time tonight on the program. You heard what the government has uh, said, indictment on the government of uh, uh, Dr. Kade Fayemi about issues of contract. And in fact, he did not appear before uh, the committee, uh, the Judicial Committee of Inquiry into his administration and how monies were spent. What would be the reaction of the go uh, former governor who has now been barred from politics or holding public office for 10 years? Thank you very much, uh, Chiu. And uh, I received the news of the commission of the panel Barring the second local defy me from office for 10 years, and uh, I think that's rather laughable. The panel, neither the panel nor the governor of the state, I would really power she has that power, and I think that's rather a joke taken too far. You do not have the power. You can look into the finances of the state for various reasons, but it has to be done in a very responsible manner. You don't just go out to wish on citizens of the state for no just cause reason or as a matter of political vendetta. What we have seen in this instance is a premeditated arrangement, a bad. This is an arrangement that has been concocted right from the beginning. The panel was just walking towards an answer that has been submitted and has been given to them, dictated by the governor. I'll deliver with it. So at the end of the day, from day one, the Rebel Minister has said that he had no confidence in that panel. Even the comp composition of the panel was by us. He wanted to compose a panel to look at a particular matter, and all the members you could fish out from among over 2.3 million population are people that have political coloration, political bias. People that have one or ten things to hide, to, to, to to, who, are, who are one or two issues with the former governor? Those are people that have considered the panel. So, from day one, we have raised issues concerning the panel, commission of the panel. But what was the issue of legality? Because there are about six cases in court, pending in court, which had relationship with the issue you were looking to in the panel. 
So this has been raised before the panel. And all they do was to turn their back to everything that has been raised in the issue of legality. So from the one, we have said that we have no confidence in the, in, in the panel because we do at the end of the day. Mr. Yobade, quickly, Dr. Dr. Fahemi, quickly, Mr. Yobade, if, if I may quickly ask you this, just have a few seconds to answer this. Uh, Dr. Fahemi has been invited. He did not show up. He went to court and uh, there's perhaps no opportunity to hear from him or to hear his own side into the probe, into the finances and the spendings during his uh, administration. And so how would you be able to come out to say uh, you uh, were not given the good opportunity and you do not believe when you did not even come forward to answer questions in relation to some of the allegations raised? There are about four cases in court, pending in court, for various officials, different officials of the government regarding pronouncements about finances of the state regarding pronouncements about transactions under the administration, which some officials of the state are actually exaggerating. So there are about four cases in call. So if each one of them was, and these are the things that we have pointed out while the case was being had during the panel issue, that because these cases were pending in court, it becomes substitutes for us, for the minister, to come out and appear before the panel. All right. So we, yeah, must, leave it, we must leave it at that, Mr. Yebode. Thank you so much for your time on the program tonight.